In this video, I'm going to show you how to use three different barcode readers with our inventory management program for WooCommerce on your mobile device. So let's take a look at the simplest of the barcode readers, which is going to be this Natamu, and it's got a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. And you can actually use this on an iPhone if you have one of these adapters that has a USB port into your Lightning. So I'm going to show you this one and we can plug it in. It's a little bit awkward this way, but as you can see it's communicating and then we can do some tests. So I'm just going to lean up against this can so you can see the phone and my arm is not in the way, but we want to, our cursor is already in the scan barcode field. And so let's scan a barcode and it works correctly and it's communicating through the lightning port, but there's a limitation with this barcode reader. So let me show you the problem. So let's change the scan mode type to what we're calling bulk, not bulk upload, but bulk quantities. And then if we scan the barcode, now you can add anyone, any amount you want by tapping up and down, and that's fine for onesies, twosies, but let's say you had 40 of them. Well, you can't activate the keyboard. And so you can't type in 40 with this type of barcode reader. And the reason is, is because it has no ability to hide or show the keyboard. And that's a major limitation. So let me show you how we're going to fix that with the other barcode readers. Now the first one, I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect this. And the next barcode reader I'm going to look at is the SIM code. Now this is a Bluetooth with, and it's supported for mobile iOS, which is exactly what I'm doing. So it has a neat feature. You can just double click this button right here and it will show the keyboard and then you could type in let's say you had 48 of those and um, there you go we just added last scan was 48 so we just added 48 just like that all because of a neat feature that this barcode reader has and you can do this at any time you need to have your uh, cursor in the field and then when you double click it you can hide or show it any time and I really like that feature. Another thing I like about this barcode reader is that it's small. And a lot of people are emailing me about mobile use. And I'm going to recommend this barcode reader because you could just slip this in your pocket and take this out to the shop and use your mobile phone and not have to worry about a bunch of bulky things. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is the Netum. This is a Bluetooth iOS supported uh, barcode reader and let's see how that works. On the top they don't have any buttons or anything so there's no, the only button you have is right here. So how are we going to get the keyboard to hide or show? Well if you know where to look you can get a barcode code that tells the barcode reader to hide and show the keyboard. So let's turn this on make sure it's working. All right, then we'll scan this code and there it's showing the keyboard and there it's hiding the keyboard. And so you could just clip this out and you know, put it in your wallet or something and then have that barcode handy. Um, but it does work and now you can use even this one on mobile device, but it isn't quite as handy as this one. So I like this one a lot better for that purpose. So the interesting thing to note is that the Neta manual that comes with it does not contain this barcode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, upload this PDF to my website and give you a link to it and then you're going to go to page 10 and it's going to be iOS keyboard pop-up hide and then you can uh, clip it out or do whatever you want to do to make the Netum work. So I will put a download link for inventory management program in the description below and also some links to all three of these barcode readers. So thanks for watching and have a great day.